This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 10, Building an App, Color Sleuth, Part 18. Update the UI user interface to indicate whose turn it is. That would make sense. A choice has been made for you in the design of the app to indicate whose turn it is in the UI. Yes, right here. Notice the design that there are two gray rectangles behind player scores with IDs player one highlighted and player two highlighted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so if I click on one of these, yep. Okay, so that's the gray square. Do this. Add code to, to the if statement and switch player. Use hide element and show element commands found in the UI controls toolbox. Okay. To show and hide the rectangles, okay. For example, if it's player, oh, just like this. So we can make player two, make tip, make player two highlight start out hidden by checking the hidden box for it in design mode. Hidden. I was wondering why that box would be used. Oh, wait, they already did. Okay, great. Code. Now, use hidden element and show element command. Okay. And the R if statement. Switch player, so it is in control. UI controls, got it. So I'm not going to put this in the if statement because no matter what, we will be switching players. So what I am going to do is above it, I'm going to hide current player. Because if I'm player one right then, oop, it's a variable. If I'm player one, then players one is going to be hidden. And then player one is going to become, current player is going to become player two. And I'm going to show player two's element. Oh, nope. Okay, we have to do it. All right, all right. There's a crafty way I could do this, but I'll do it straightforward since we're learning. All right. Hide element. Show element player two. Okay. And then we're going to hide and show again. And this is where it will change to player two. So we want to sh uh, change from player two to player one. So we're going to hide player two's highlight and show player one's highlight. Let's give this a shot. But, uh, cool. Awesome. Let's keep, uh, going. Yeah. And so the main part was getting these chunks of code into our switch player function. Great. Onward.